Hello Aries. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here with me in Unicorn Funland. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your first reading with me on my channel. I'm so excited to help you. I'm so excited to look into your situation and see where I can help you out so that you can grow. That's all I want. I'm Michaela. I go by many names, but I go by Michaela here. Thank you so much for being here with me. I love you. I have to say I love Aries because you guys are just so ambitious and just you're innovators. You are number one. You are number one. And I'm very, very tied into Pisces. I have a lot of Pisces in my, I mean, excuse me, ah, Aries, ah, I'm a Pisces, but I'm very tied to um, Aries. I have a lot of Aries in my family. My son's an Aries. I am a Pisces Aries cuss, so I, I feel really, really close to you guys' energy, and I'm just glad that you're here with me. A little background about me. This will be a longer video. Um, mm, I've been doing tarot for 19 plus years, so since I was 10, I felt really drawn to it. My mom handed me a, a, a tarot deck, and I was like, this is awesome, <laughs> and so I kind of just stuck with it, um, and this is what I'm doing with my life right now. And so I hope that I can help you with your situation here in Unicorn Funland. We have fun. And I say we because I, I'm connected with my twin flame and he shines through sometimes. So we like to have fun here. And my mermaid, she likes to hang out too. Sometimes she falls over and gives me messages. But anyway, um, so uh, yes, let's just be here and have fun. Have a good time and learn about your situation. Uh, just a disclaimer, sometimes I do curse. I don't curse like a sailor, but it happens to slip out. So if that's something you're not interested in, bye. And I'll see you maybe another time, or no? Huh? Maybe I'll see you in the ether. <laughs> um, I'm just really connected with the earth and with spirit, and that if I could just stay in the ether all day, I would. But, you know, I gotta adult and do mundane human earthly things, so... But the point is, we're going to have fun. Um, I am forgetting everything that I was about to say. So it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with the flow. <laughs> this is the deck that I use. This is uh, the Tarot Illuminati. And I haven't gotten any other decks yet. I Well, I do have this one other deck, but I want to become more familiar with it. And they're actually more for personal readings, so I won't be using those decks, but this is the only deck I'm going to be using until I get some more, and, oh yes, yes, I, again, I'm going to stress this, I like to have fun here, so if you are looking for a more serious reading, again, this is not the place for you, because I laugh, and I joke, and I giggle, and I sing, and we do lots of fun stuff here i do funny voices and i just this is just me this is just me guys okay anyway so i've already grounded my energy and my shirt keeps falling up and down but this is where it's supposed to be i've already grounded my energy and i've concentrated aries into my cards and now i'm going to shuffle here for you so we can catch some flyers and if you don't know what that means then you'll find out but June 2018 for Aries is what we're looking for. What will the universe, the beautiful universe, Mare Ram, what will you have us know, beautiful universe, about Aries for June 2018? June 2018 for Aries. Forgive the car noises in the back, please. Oh, I saw it. June 2018 for Aries. Aries. Oh, they did jumping out. Oh, y'all got some stuff going on. It. I don't know what's going on with Aries. We about to find out. But it's something good. Pick a card, any card. I know you're not really going to pick, but if I choose a card in the vicinity of your area, give me a thumbs up. Mm. Mm, this one. Give me a thumbs up or give me a emoji <laughs> we're not gonna look at these yet oh they're falling we're not gonna look at the advice yet but we're gonna look at the bottom of the deck princess of swords she's a genius she's a genius she's an innovative thinker <laughs> that 
says Pisces. Ugh, I keep saying Pisces. It has Aries written all over it. The innovative thinker. The free thinker. Even though you guys can be a little rigid sometimes. But innovative is what I mean when I say that's right up your alley. So we're just going to get in here. This is general. This is the general energy of the month. This is the energy. This is the overall energy of the reading. The general energy of the month. Y'all been looking for love. It's, it's some Aries out there that has been looking for love, that has been looking for some stability, been looking for happy family. Ah, look at that. I didn't even realize that I picked this up. This is a rose quartz. Love, 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 love. Okay. So, even though this might not be the month that love comes in for some of you, but this is a month where love reigns highly. Love prevails. Your emotions are stable. You have reached this pinnacle because I know Aries can be very, very stern and very logical. Um, and sometimes it's challenging for an Aries to get in touch with their emotions and to stabilize their emotions. But this is a, a month of emotional stability. Now, this some some people are coming in with love. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it froze. Okay. Some people, some people, love is coming in. I see love coming. I see love and relationships coming in and success and love and relationships. I'm seeing some, some, some twin flames coming together. Just a few, not very many. But somebody has been looking to build a family. Somebody has been looking for a mother for their kids if you're a single father. Somebody's been looking for a father for their kids if you're a single mother. And not just to use or abuse, but somebody really wants to create a family. And they are bringing their families together. I am seeing families coming together. I'm seeing happy family, not just because of the card. It's just the energy. I'm seeing love. I'm seeing so much pink, not just because of my pink filter, not just because of the pink. I'm seeing pink, 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 pink love, love making. <laughs> um, and not just that, but but the energy of love, emotional fulfillment. This card is saying it all. This month, you are going to reach a pinnacle of emotional fulfillment. Those of you who have been um, worrying and, and, and beating yourself up over over something that just hasn't been going right there is going to be a turnaround this month and in the middle of the month I'm seeing the 10th the 10th 12th June 10th 12th do not take it as as it, you take the meat and throw away the bones it might be the 10th it might not be it might be the 8th it might be next month but these are the numbers that I'm getting June 10th to 12th, you're going to reach some kind of pinnacle, and it makes sense because it's in the middle of the month. You're going to reach reach this realization, and you're going to be like, wait a minute, I haven't been doing this right. Wait a minute, I have been doing this right. Wait a minute, I'm going to turn this around. I'm seeing this over here, and I want to change this. And somebody, somebody's going to be making a really big change in their life this month. Many of you, not just somebody, th this, is, this is a month. For, for change to happen, a free thinker, you're going to be thinking a little more freely with your emotions. Thinking more freely with your emotions, being, being open to new ideas of emotion. And that's beautiful, especially for an Aries, especially for for those logical, logical people who are just brain, mind, proof, eyes. This is, I'm seeing it. I see the math. It adds up. You're about to, you're about to have some kind of awakening. There is a beating of your heart that will not stop. It will not cease. And it wants you to listen. Okay. This position is now. Okay. And I mean right now, not June 4th or whatever today is when I'm recording this. But right now, as you're watching this. And it might be June 4th. Who knows? Um, so, we've got the Seven of Wands. That's, of course, some fire energy. I'm feeling I'm feeling like somebody is dealing with another fire sign. I'm, I'm feeling like an Aries is dealing with another Aries. An Aries is dealing with another Sagittarius or a Leo or somebody with that 
with those signs maybe um maybe a leo or sagittarius rising or moon sign but you're dealing with another sagittarius this is just what i'm feeling but this card the um main interpretation of this card is just defense standing up for yourself standing up for what you believe in fighting for what you believe in no matter what no matter who it is because if you can as you can see in this card the pictures are always funny to do as you can see in this in this card this guy he's fighting but he does he doesn't see who he's fighting so sometimes that that means an internal battle um it can also this can also be an external battle um maybe people will be i'm seeing reddit i don't know why i'm seeing trolls people on the internet maybe coming at you um trolling you or saying nasty things to you and you don't know who it is because you don't see a face because it's just an empty um a empty account or whatever okay um and this is but on on a more positive note standing up for what you believe in standing up for you and being able to stand up and say i'm not gonna take this anymore like i'm not going to stand for this anymore i'm going to stand for me i'm going to stand for my family i'm going to stand for what i believe in corporate job you can't have me man i got a business to start okay and and um defensive defensive watch out for being defensive somebody is really on the defense right now there's many of you who are really on the defense right now and i'm also seeing a lot of you who are leaving this defense these past couple of months april and may you've you've been on the defense with with people that you care about um, you've been on the defense with people that you work with and and you're starting to realize that you're starting to think a little more freely you're starting to realize that you you may have been making a mistake with how you were treating people and so you're ready to move forward and you're able to move forward to gain this you're able to move forward to gain it and it fell over because you don't want it to fall over so remember you don't want you don't want it to end you don't want the emotional satisfaction and fulfillment to end and to die you want it to keep going so learn your lessons your environment is teaching you these lessons about where you're supposed to be going and how you're supposed to be feeling and treating people and how you're supposed to be acting towards people how you're supposed to be acting towards yourself self-love there's a lot of self-love so standing up for yourself standing up for you and for your health and for what you care about and for what is important in your heart your children are looking up to you those of you with children your children are looking up to you and they're seeing exactly what they could become even if that's not registering in their brain you want to stand up for you so that you can stand up for your children and be a good role model so much energy so much beautiful energy and for those of you without children stand up for yourself there 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 are some areas out there who are not as confident as they would like to be and you're looking on the internet and you're seeing all these confident men and women and you you want to be that way well be that way stand up for yourself go to the gym go 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 to a a, a vegan seminar go go to a, a metaphysical um fair or something do something for yourself i know there's a metaphysical fair there was a metaphysical fair um this past weekend here in my town um but go to stuff like that do stuff that fulfills you that makes you feel good go play with a puppy at the aspca like go go um uh babysit your 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 nieces and nephews or your cousins like do something that will bring you joy because now in the future outcomes celebration all right somebody somebody's gonna have something to celebrate this year excuse me this month yes 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 that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing aries jumping up and down. i'm seeing a little ram jumping up and down saying yes yes 
yes, with a little smile on his face. It's like this, it's not even a cartoon in my head. It's like literally a ram with a smile on his face, jumping up and down saying, yes, yes, I've finally created this. I finally completed this. I finally manifested this. I finally made this real. I've affirmed it. I used my affirmations. I did it all. I did the law of attraction. And now I am here. Now I did it. Yes, I get to celebrate. I'm going to go out with my girls. We're going to party. We're going to drink. <laughs> we're going to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to feel good. Okay? So, before I do your advice card, I'm going to just tell you your story, okay? The free thinker. The free thinker is emotionally fulfilled. The free thinker stands up for themselves and what they believe in. The free thinker finally gets to celebrate. The innovator, the innovator gets to be emotionally fulfilled and you get to do something new with your emotions. You get to do something new with yourself. You get to stand up for you, finally. After standing up for everybody else, after doing everybody else's work, you get to stand up for you. The free thinker, the innovator gets to party. You've done it. You've done it. You've done it. I'm seeing, I'm, somebody's asking about love relationships. I'll touch on that really quickly. There's a guy or a gal that has been pining for you but has not been showing you. They just haven't really been showing you. They... They really like you. They're probably the dude or the girl sitting in the corner with the glasses like, well, I really, really like him or I really, really like her. I just don't know what to say. Okay. Open yourself up. Open yourself up. Okay. I'm seeing resting bitch face. And it's okay to have resting bitch face. There's nothing wrong with that. But make yourself approachable. And if you feel like you want to approach somebody, do it. Advice from the universe. Oh my goodness. There she is. That's my boo. That's my boo. Hi, Priestess Michaela. That's my boo. I love the High Priestess. She is all about the mysteries of life and going inside and finding the secrets of life and, and seeing how they bring heaven into her awareness heaven sent is the message that i'm getting heaven sent so the the advice from the universe is heaven sent mysteries i don't know what that means i have no idea what it means heaven sent mysteries so go within go deep within and find your goddess let your goddess hang out let your God hang out. This is for men and women. Let your God and your goddess hang out. Whatever it is that makes you feel like that, do it. And be mysterious. It's okay to be mysterious. Go within. Find those secrets. Read the Bible. Read the Quran. Read the Torah. Go and find within. Go and seek within seek within pray go to church go to temple meditate do your affirmations your mantras uh, aries you guys got a really nice month coming up got a really good month coming up there's a lot of great wonderful energy that i'm feeling if you want to book a reading my information is down below in the description as always like share and subscribe if this resonates with you um I will be continuing to do this. I, I always want feedback. That's what I've been meaning to tell everybody. I always want feedback. I enjoy feedback, good feedback, negative feedback. It doesn't matter. I transmute it. <laughs> so um, uh, please leave your comments. And again, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month. All love and praise to the universe within me and without me. And I will see you in July. Bye.